Good evening, everyone. We're going to get started. Welcome to the June Hoboken Board of Education meeting. The end of the school year is fast approaching, which is always an exciting time for our students, but also a great time to reflect on the many achievements and accomplishments our students have made this year. And there have been many. As our seniors get ready to graduate and pursue their dreams, I'd like to congratulate them on a major achievement, and that is earning over $14 million in academic scholarships. We wish them the very best in their future endeavors. Now on with the meeting. <laughs> Mr. Bolden, can you please read the statement of compliance? Sure. This meeting is being held in conformity to the Open Public Meeting Act, NJSA 10, 4-6 at Sequentia. Proper public notice of the meeting was published in the local papers on June 6, 2019 and June 8, 2019. If any board member or member of the public in attendance believes that the meeting is in violation of the Open Public Meeting Act, the Hoboken Board of Education requests that they make a statement at this time. The board wishes to make those in attendance aware that this meeting is being recorded on video and will be broadcast by the board at a later date on cable TV channel 77 and Files channel 46. The full meeting recording will also be made available on board docs, which can be accessed through the district homepage. The whole public and board of education is committed to preserving the decorum of the public process and is mindful that we live in the electronic age of computers, cell phones, and other electronic communications devices. Nevertheless, we respectfully request that all meeting participants kindly silence their electronic devices during the course of the meeting, and if use of the device is necessary, we ask that you please Leave the meeting room if you need to conduct personal business. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we please take the roll call? Ms. Ms. Delara. Here. Mr. Delator. Here. Ms. Evans. Here. Ms. Kana. Here. Mr. Cliffell. Here. Ms. McWork. Ms. Takirian. Here. And Ms. Angley. Here. We have a quorum. Okay. Um, first, we're going to start with our superintendent's report. So I will pass the meeting over to Dr. Johnson. Okay. So good evening, everyone. Tonight, I have the distinct pleasure and honor to introduce our assistant superintendent and our principals um, for our uh, May and June Student of the Month accolades and awards. And uh, upon conclusion of the Students of the Month, we have a uh, special um, presentation or some words and comments from a very special educator who's been in the district for years and um, will be retiring at the end of the school year. So my superintendent's report will consist of those three items. So we're going to begin with the May students of the month first. So Ms. Rodriguez Gomez, could you begin? Good evening. Today's student recognitions are extra special to us because each school will honor two students, one for the month of May, as Dr. Johnson has shared, and another for the month of June. As usual, I will be followed by Principal Bartlett of the Joseph F. Brandt School, as he is always the first to share his words. He will then call Principal Baker, and so on and so forth. I would ask that students remain at the podium for a picture opportunity to be led by Vice Principal Dickerson. He's very excited about doing this service for us, and I really appreciate that, so thank you. And these will absolutely be shared by me to the principals, and then we will make sure that uh, the families receive them. So with that, I will introduce to you uh, Principal Bartlett from the Joseph F. Brand School. Mrs. Rodriguez Gomez, and at this time I would like to call to the podium Miss Cameron Hill, the Joseph F. Brand Student of the Month for May 2019. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Cameron was nominated by her kindergarten teacher, Ms. Grosso. Ms. Grosso said, Cameron was nominated because she has shown amazing improvement and growth as a student. Throughout the year, Cameron has built resiliency skills and sticks to something when she puts her mind to it. We've been working very hard on her reading and writing skills. Cameron was once a shy student who did not ask for help, but now she has no problem coming to the noodle table to work with me and help her understand what she's unsure about. I love to see how successful and hardworking Cameron is as a student, especially when she gets that little smirk in the corner of her, uh, in the corner of her mouth because she knows that she gets it. As principal, Cameron always greets me with a quiet smile. When I walk through her class and see her in action, it always makes me proud to see her working so hard and trying her best. Over the course of the year, Cameron's made several achievements, such as becoming more assertive to ask friends and teachers for help, knowing her letter identification and sounds, breaking down the beginning, middle, and end sounds of words, working on reading skills, and most importantly, not giving up when things get too tough for her. Cameron is an asset to our school and student body because she is an amazing role model who shows students that working hard pays off. She shows students how important it is to try and try and keep trying. Cameron would love to be an artist when she grows up. She loves to spend time with her cousins at the park and playing with her baby sister, Quinn. One of Cameron's favorite things to do is making rubber band bracelets whenever she can. Her favorite subject is reading. Cameron's favorite food is pizza, and her favorite sports are basketball and playing baseball with her cousins. When first told she would receive this honor, Cameron said, who, me? <laughs> when she reflected on her year, she said, I can read now, and I know my letters, and thank you for working with me every day. I'm very happy and proud of myself. Congratulations once again to Cameron Hill, the Joseph F. Grant Student of the Month for May 2019. <laughs> This time, I would like to call up to the podium the Joseph F. Brandt Student of the Month for June 2019, Mr. Sebastian Orego. <laughs> Sebastian was nominated by his third grade teacher, Ms. Cuba. Ms. Cuba said, Sebastian has demonstrated superior determination in overcoming difficulties this year. He's worked hard all year long and has made great improvements in all facets of his schooling. Even when things got tough, Sebastian worked his way through it. He is honest and works well with others, putting his peers' needs before his. Sebastian has grown in many ways, becoming a true leader for our class. As principal, I've watched Sebastian emerge as a leader and a role model, role model for our entire school. He is polite and kind and is always willing to help others. As a third grader, he was one of the students we first thought of to be one of our Brant Bear Cub mentors. In that role, Sebastian excelled, working with some of our first grade students and helping them learn valuable social skills. Ms. Cuba went on to say, this year has been Sebastian's breakout year. He is excelling in all subjects and has become a superstar, not only in our classroom, but also within the Brant community. A spark that has always been inside him was lit on fire when he was asked to mentor a first grader. Once Sebastian became an active mentor, his own behaviors began to change as he redirected not only his mentee, but also himself. Sebastian has also become a mentor for our classroom, developing the leadership skills he never realized he had. With the ability to lead, Sebastian has demonstrated a true sense of growth this year, overcoming every obstacle placed in his path place in his path, excuse me. Sebastian, we are all very proud to have you represent our class and the brand community. In his spare time, Sebastian enjoys reading graphic novels and comic books and playing video games such as Fortnite and Lego superheroes. He also enjoys playing and watching baseball and basketball with his dad. Sebastian played on the Brant Bears basketball team and also plays baseball in the Hoboken Little League. Sebastian loves math because, quote, Numbers are easy for me to understand, end quote, and loves physical education because he gets to run around and be active. He also enjoys listening to music from superhero movies. When Sebastian gets older, his career goal is to develop video games. When asked about a college he might attend, Sebastian said, Stevens, because it's the only college I know about right now. <laughs> when told he would receive this honor, Sebastian said, 
Thank you, Mom and Dad, for believing in me, and thank you, Miss Cuba, for pushing me to always do my best. Congratulations to Sebastian Arego, the Joseph F. Brandt Student of the Month for June 2019. And at this time, I would like to call up to the podium representing the Calabro School, Mr. Jack Baker. Thank you, Principal Barlett. Uh, good evening, Hoboken Board of Education. Uh, before I begin, I just want to congratulate Mr. Enrico on his retirement. Uh, best of luck and thank you for everything you've done for us at Hoboken. At this time, I would like to call up the Calabro School District Student of the Month for May, Julia Yaroshevsky. <laughs> Ms. Lake quotes, Julia has been at Calabro since first grade. She loves second grade because she finds it so interesting to learn new things. She is also thankful to have the best teacher. Julia takes pride in her work and loves to make her teachers proud. She especially loves going to her gifted and talented program every day. Julia likes playing on her iPad and playing with her little brother when he isn't crying. <laughs> Julia quotes, I want to be a teacher when I grow up because I see so many teachers every day and I want to be just like them to help kids learn. My favorite part of school is uh, drop everything in read time because I love reading quietly so I can find out what will happen next in all my favorite books. Julia's peers describe her as kind, caring, funny, funny, and a role model. Now for my principal's message. Julia, Julia is a hardworking, kind, and compassionate student at Calabro School. She has been able to capture a solid routine and work ethic to make her one of the most consistent students at Calabro. Julia is always willing to help others during the instructional school day, which makes her a natural leader every day. I am so proud of your courage, your ability to remain focused, and to concentrate to the best of your ability day in and day out. You are a role model in the Hoboken Public School District. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you Julia Yaroshevsky as the Calabro Student of the Month for May. Uh, moving on to Calabro School District Student of the Month uh, for June. Uh, we're going to welcome, uh, well, Julia Schiara. Uh, Julia could not join us tonight, so we are going to have Amelie Katamatori, her classmate, to accept the award. <laughs> Julia Schiara is an ideal representative of Calabro School. Now a student leader in the third grade, she has attended Salvatore R. Calabro Elementary School since kindergarten. Julia is a well-rounded student who brings a wealth of knowledge to the classroom discussions and a passion for learning across all subject areas. Her positive attitude is contagious and benefits everyone around her. She is hardworking, respectful to others, to her peers and teachers, and a leader in the Calabro community. Julia is an enthusiastic member of Calabro's string program, excelling in violin performance after only one year of study. She is also a proud member of the Calabro Chorus. Outside of school, you can find Julia practicing on her piano and spending time with her family and puppies. Julia has an undeniable passion for learning and helping others. In Calabro's Penny for Patients fundraiser, Julia raised $13,000. She stated that her drive and amazing support from her family allowed her to accomplish this task. 
She loves children and wanted to help as much as she did for this amazing cause. Julia was also recognized as the highest fundraiser in the state of New Jersey throughout the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We could not be proud of her. When Julia grows up, she aspires to be an educator. She stated that her goal is to help other, other kids learn and be the best they can be. Her role model is her third grade teacher, Mrs. K. When asked why, Julia stated, Ms. K makes learning fun every day and encourages me to challenge myself and go above and beyond. One day she hopes to be a teacher in the Hoboken Public School community. Right. We would be lucky to have her. Julia's second passion is dancing and she is currently a part of Studio L's competition team. With her competition team, Julia travels all over New Jersey and competes in dancing, specializing in contemporary and hip hop. Whenever she feels nervous, dancing is what makes her feel better. Now for Miss Kay's quote, her, her teacher. I have been thrilled to have Julia in my third grade class this year. Julia's passion for learning shines through every single day. She is always eager to help a classmate make a joke and frequently follows my footsteps. Julia never gives up on any task given to her, no matter how challenging. She is persistent, humorous, hardworking, and takes pride in all of her assignments. She is the definition of a leader. As Sean Junkin stated, so often you find that the students you are trying to inspire are the ones that end up inspiring you. Julie inspires me on a daily basis to meet every challenge with the same persistence, humor, and hard work that she does. Now for my principal's message. Julia has been an outstanding leader in the Calabro School community. Julia is an intelligent, talented, and driven student who challenges everyone around her to never give up. Julia's compassionate nature is contagious. She is the type of student who serves as a role model for the entire school, and her kindness and sensitivity towards others has truly been amazing to witness. Her strong work ethic and dedication to her studies, both academic and artistic, are unparalleled and continue to grow each school year. She embodies our school's belief in the power of acts of kindness transforming in the culture of our school. Julia, Sch Julia Schiara, you are a star shining oh so bright, and you are only getting started. At this time, I would like to recognize Julia Schiara as the Salvatore R. Calabro School District Student of the Month for June. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call up Dr. Tamika Pollins from Connor School. Hello, everyone. Hello. Our May Student of the Month had a scheduling conflict, so she was unable to be with us this evening. But I am excited to speak to you about Julia Rice. Mrs. Sheridan has nominated Julia Rice as the Connor Student of the Month. Mrs. Sheridan believes that Julia adds to the positive character of the classroom by always being ready to lend a helping hand to her peers. Julia is a kind and caring student who brightens everyone's day with her proud, sunny smile. Julia is such an enthusiastic student who is always ready to start the day with classroom participation and an eagerness to learn new things. Julia has shown much growth and improvement since the start of the school year and continues to take great pride in all the hard work she challenges herself with in first grade. She believes in all of the classroom do's and her favorite one being, we do happiness. She always has a smile for her peers and her teachers. She is eager to express herself and tell, other, tell others all the things that she knows. Julia's hobbies are riding her bike, playing kickball, and helping to take care of her six-month-old six brother. Her favorite subject is reading, and when she grows up, she wants to be a first grade teacher just like Mrs. Sheridan. When Jalea was asked how she felt about being student, student of the month, she stated, I was surprised because I've never been student of the month before, and I've always hoped I would be one day. I feel that Jalea is a role model to younger students and her classmates. She is a wonderful, kind leader in the classroom. When I think of Jalea, I think of the Margaret, Margaret Mead quote, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed, that's all who ever have. I believe that Jalea, with her kindness, is someone who will play a part in changing the world. Please help me congratulate Jalea on being student of the month.
Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite up to the podium, Logan Morrissey. <laughs> Mrs. Sheridan has nominated Logan for Student of the Month. Mrs. Sheridan shares that Logan is a bright, energetic, and positive learner in the classroom. She is always helpful and kind to her peers. Logan is truly a leader in the classroom. She loves to participate and help her peers when working alongside her classmates. Logan is one of the top readers and writers in her class. She is extremely imaginative when it comes to writing new stories and poems. Her classmates love to hear when Logan has a new idea or a response to a story read in class. Logan believes in all of her classroom do's, her favorite one being we do friendships. I enjoy it when Logan stops by the office to say hi and tells everyone to have a nice day. Logan shared that she loves coloring and playing with her younger sister, Dylan. Logan is really looking forward to playing soccer this fall and her favorite subject is music. When Logan was asked about being student of the month, she shared, she felt really happy because I feel like I work hard and I deserve it. <laughs> when asked what Logan wants to be when she grows up, she says, I want to be a rock star because my mom says I'm a good singer and my sister loves it when I sing to her. I think of the following quote when I think of Logan. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. We believe in Logan and are looking forward to her continued success. Please help me congratulate Logan. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Shannon up to the podium. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I'd like to call Storm Bias to the podium. Former Yankee, Wade Boggs, once said, a positive attitude causes a chain reaction of positive thoughts, events, and outcomes. It is a catalyst and it sparks extraordinary results. This quote speaks to the hard work, dedication, and positive attitude that we have seen in Storm this year. His fortitude and perseverance have catapulted him towards success both in and outside of the classroom. We are on honored to have Storm Baez represent Wallace School as the student of the month. Storm was nominated by a second grade teacher, Mrs. Skelzo, because he always makes sure to say please and thank you when speaking with adults. Storm always helps his friends and includes them in all of his activities. When he notices a friend does not have a toy, he will offer his own. He will also offer a snack to any peer in need. Storm enters his classroom every day and begins his work without being prompted. Mrs. Skelzo was quoted in saying, he has come such a long way since September, I cannot wait to see him grow. As principal of Wallace, I have watched Storm grow over the years. Storm is a kind and caring student who loves his family deeply. Seeing his smile as he takes a running start to give me a tackling hug always brightens my day. I am so proud to introduce him as our student of the month. He is truly a special person. Storm has received Peace Pal this year prior to gaining recognition as Student of the Month. Storm enjoys basketball, Pokemon, playing with his friends, and all things nature, especially the ocean. His favorite animals are sharks, right? <laughs> he is always good for a few little known facts about sharks. Storm wants to be in the army when he gets older, just like his older cousin. Storm is very excited to gain this recognition, but he likes to keep it cool. He's a humble young man with huge potential. Great job, Storm. As always, you've made us proud. Congratulations, Storm Baez, May Student of the Month for Wallace Elementary School.
Next, for the Wallace Student of the Month for June, I'd like to invite Brant Angley to the, to the podium. Brent Angley was nominated by his first grade teacher, Mrs. Galerio, for his jovial personality, endearing friendships, and connections with his peers. His generosity and outstanding continued behavior and academic achievements make him a great choice for Student of the Month. Brent fully embodies the quote, be the reason someone else smiles today. He not only starts his day with a smile from ear to ear, but ends his day with one too. He is our little ray of sunshine. As principal of Wallace School, I always appreciate Brand's positive and engaging personality. He is a welcoming presence that can brighten anyone's day. I am proud to have him in our Wallace community. Mrs. Galeria wanted you all to know that Brandt was awarded Peace Pal this year for his ongoing efforts of always being a bucket filler. He works diligently each and every day to do his best in school and has many leadership abilities. His peers gravitate towards him not only because he is charming and easy to get along with, but trustworthy, honest, and can make anyone laugh. Brandt is a teacher's dream. His love of learning is contagious, and seeing his eagerness motivates us all daily. He is a very special young boy who is selfless, hardworking, and caring. He truly represents Wallace School by his good citizenship. Brandt is an ice hockey player, the youngest of three children, all boys. He loves completing projects in class, especially the challenging ones, and shares Mrs. Galerio's favorite holiday, Christmas. Brandt can be found singing any Christmas song, any time of the year, which brightens his teacher's day. Brandt is getting ready to be a second grader and will hit the ground running come September. Another quote that comes to mind when discussing Brandt is, you're amazing just the way you are. I wish Brandt nothing but continued happiness as he moves on and grows up knowing that he is smart, important, kind, and special to us all. Keep moving forward no matter what obstacle comes in your way. Know that you are loved not only by your amazing family, but by your friends and educators too. Ladies and gentlemen, Brand Angley, June Student of the Month. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Abraham, principal of Hoboken Middle School. Good evening. At this time, I would like to introduce the May student of the month of Hoboken Middle School, Naomi Cook. Our faculty nomination comes from Ms. Rosmester of the Isabindi House. Naomi is an asset to the HMS community because she demonstrates a positive attitude in every setting she is in. She is sympathetic, respectful, and diligent in all that she does. She always follows classroom rules and procedures and makes sure to go above and beyond in anything that she does. Naomi is very well-rounded and participates in many activities in, in school and out. She was just part of the district musical, The Adams Family, as well as being a member of the Hoboken Community Book Club. Not only is she a great student, but she is a great friend and classmate. She can regularly be found helping assist her classmates, as well as giving great advice and helping out her friends when they are in need. And now time for the principal's nomination. This was simply an easy task for me. It is a pleasure to have Naomi Cook at Hoboken Middle School. Naomi exemplifies what it means to be an HMS Tiger. She is actively involved in our school community. You won't find many busier than she and her family. Regardless of how busy she gets, she always performs to her best ability and has blossomed into a dynamic and multi-talented student. Naomi constantly expresses her love for PGP. She said that this stems from the power it gives students to think creatively and its exposure to a wide range of curricular offerings. She has greatly enjoyed her course selections of National History Project, Philosophy and Poetry, and Ballroom Dance. Naomi has been involved in an array of school programming including paddleboarding, kayaking, cardio club, 
and district concerts and musicals. When the name Naomi Cook is mentioned in our school community, many people associate her with the terrific artistic abilities that she has. This first came to light under Ms. Fasolino's guidance during the Tinker Hatfield Sneaker Design Competition. Naomi, along with several other classmates, brilliantly designed a pair of Air Jordan sneakers to gift to Eric Legrand. Since this time, Naomi has enjoyed watercolor art, graffiti art, and even coffee cup design. Naomi has seemingly had uh, the month of the ages. Since she was selected to perform a solo at HMS award-winning chorus, uh, she earned first place in the district's art competition uh, in partnership with NJ Path, and she was unanimously selected in the Hoboken Middle School's Student of the Month for the month of May. Her artwork can be seen on all PATH trains and the historic Hoboken PATH station all summer long. However, if you were to talk to her, you would know that you would know none of these accomplishments based on, on your conversation. She is incre increasingly modest day by day, and she's humble in regard to all of her recent accomplishments. Um, she is compassionate. She is down to earth. Um, I look forward to Naomi's continued success at Hoboken Middle School and watching her serve in a leadership capacity as an eighth grade student next year. Congratulations. And this time I would like to call to the podium the June student of the month from Hoboken Middle School, Amani Avalos. As you can see, she has quite the fan club. <laughs> Amani's faculty nomination comes from uh, Miss Stephanie Falcone of the Zong House. Amani has demonstrated nothing but integrity, responsibility, determination, and respect for peers and, and, and staff within our school. I have had the pleasure of working with Amani in not only her humanities class, but poetry, PGP, and photography, her photography course as well. From literary analysis tasks, night rights, and narrative tasks to taking photography, photographs, um, and writing poetry, Amani, Amani puts 100% into everything that she does. She accepts and applies all feedback when it comes to her work as well. Amani was even recognized in January for her writing through the Overcoming Obstacles essay contest. She also was behind the design of her house's women's door decorating contest. She is a positive role model to everyone that she comes in contact with. And now for the principal's nomination. This too was an easy task. Hoboken Middle School is filled with amazing students. With this being said, Amani Avalos continuously finds ways to separate herself from the pack. She comes to school each morning with a positive attitude and knows the value of hard work. She has seen the results of her hard work and uses this as motivation to accomplish her goals. Amani greatly enjoys PGP because it gives her the opportunity to learn about areas that she is passionate about. She stated, when you love what you are working on, it's only natural to give it your full effort. Amani enjoys her selections of National History Project, Philosophy and Poetry Slam, and Photography in Action. In Poetry Slam, Amani greatly enjoyed the activity of making poetic origami. During the lesson, she and her peers designed poems in a variety of origami shapes. Students proudly gifted these pieces to staff and students around the school. The energy from this activity was contagious and truly served as an uplifting process within our school. Amani personally found great joy in, um, in putting smiles on other people's faces. Amani recently excelled in the Beats by Dre partnership with UBS. During this time, she, completed in a, she competed in a business competition in an effort to design the next product release from the Fortune 500, 500 company, Beats. She and her teammates were collaboratively communicated in a highly effective manner and were able to design an award-winning concept. Amani and her team were celebrated by UBS and praised by top-level CEOs. The following day, two representatives sent the school an email specifically mentioning Amani's name and complimenting her team's work. They were completely blown away. The email expressed an interest in offering her and her teammates uh, and, and students at Hoboken Middle School internships through their corporation as they enter high school in the near future. 
Amani greatly en enjoyed Cardio Club this year where she demonstrated excellent leadership qualities. From a very young age, her father emphasized the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. She has always admired her father's passion of boxing, and this is partly what drew her to the club. Her excitement around fitness, our club, and boxing contribute to the many features that make her a powerful young force. Fortunately, I will never be on the receiving end of one of her right hand hooks. <laughs> in Cardio Club, Amani led students in many cardiovascular activities, including runs to Pier A and Pier C. One of her favorite activities was placing a towel under her feet and propelling her body using only her hands to the opposite side of the gymnasium. Amani mentioned that through this offering, she benefited from time management skills and the mirroring of mathematical concepts featured in her academic day. Although incredibly rigorous, Amani always embraced the challenge before her and was determined to be the best version of herself. Amani is also an all-star softball player where she is one of the top catchers in her age group. One of the things that Amani enjoys about softball is the camaraderie. She credits much of her success to her amazing teammates. This is the type of person that she is. She stated, my teammates are always there for me and this is something that has made a huge impact on the person that I am today. It is evident that these qualities have trickled into her time at HMS where she offers unwavering support to those in need. Congratulations. Congratulations once again. At this time, I would like to introduce principal of Hoboken High School, Ms. Robin Pick. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I'd like to call up Ms. Denise Paguero. Academically, Denise has truly grown over the years at Hoboken High School as she has steadily increased the rigor of her coursework and became involved in academically focused clubs like the Harvard Model Congress and Model UN. This year, Denise is taking on AP Spanish as well as, as, well as dual enrollment English course through New Jersey Institute of Technology. Ms. Melinda shares Denise is an attentive and inquisitive student and brings a unique perspective to any topic. She truly has built her skills in academics and time management to be prepared for college level work. Outside of academics, Denise is extremely involved and has been an athlete for all four years of high school. Outside of athletics, Denise is a member of the Harvard Model Congress Club and has traveled to San Francisco in this capacity as well as Madrid, Madrid Spain to compete internationally. Her efforts at mock trial brought her team a second place win this year. Denise is actively involved with the Heroes and Cool Kids as well as the Agape Club. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, Denise has had the opportunity to participate in programs at Stevens Institute of Technology, as well as Boston University. Last summer, Denise was accepted and received a full scholarship to attend a prestigious journalism program at Boston University. This experience truly solidified her aspirations to work in broadcasting and gave her a great experience working and living on college campus. Overall, one would say that Denise is the full package. She is leaps and bounds beyond student, other students who, make, who take more honors or AP classes, but who do not know how to manage time and stay involved in pervasively, which she can now do with ease. Denise does not let adversity stand in her way, and her determination to succeed is apparent in everything she does. For me, the ability to have a mature conversation with her and watch her ponder a question and think about it as I actually ask it. She has the ability to reflect honestly on her work, address areas that are difficult. She has a great sense of humor, 
and a keen sense of awareness, which lends me to believe she will be able to not navigate the college arena very well and excel. Denise's post-secondary plans include attending Rutgers University to study communications. When notified about the award, she was thrilled, and it was a great ending to her senior year. Congratulations, Denise Paguero. Next, I'd like to call up our June Student of the Month, Senior Iana Gilliard. <laughs> Quiet and reserved are the words that most teachers use when speaking about Iana. But Mr. Munoz added that she is a powerhouse, an excellent student who speaks through her actions and leadership qualities. Her personality is one that looks for solutions when presented with a problem. It makes sense that she has excelled in the sciences. In speaking with her teachers, many agree she is an eager learner who is able to bring incredible work into the classroom. She meets tasks head on, puts effort into everything she does, and does not get distracted from the work at hand. She has been a part of our Project Lead the Way biomedical science over the past three years, and her skills and passion for the sciences have, has grown tremendously. Outside of the classroom, Iana is a member of the Heroes and Cool Kids. I said that in the previous one, just to give you a little idea. It's a leadership program, and it's a unique mentoring program employing high school students, our heroes, to mentor elementary and middle school students, the cool kids in the district. The important piece to remember is that they are chosen based on their academic achievement, extracurricular participation, and most importantly, their character. Ms. Matera, the advisor, shares that Iana is an amazing role model. As a hero, she was committed to helping the fifth grade cool kids at Wallace make better, healthier choices that will lead to a positive future. I have had the pleasure of seeing Iana grow over the past few years. Most recently, I was thr thrilled to see her inducted into the Lin-Manuel Miranda National Spanish Honor Society. I sat down with her a few days ago and we talked a bit and I realized how beautiful, intelligent, and very relaxed she was. I was trying to pry some interest out of her, was she quiet? Um, but I did pull out, she loves listening to music, and I asked her if there was anything she really wanted to do and she said travel the world. But then added, not right now, after college. Iana will be attending St. Peter's University in the fall and is yet undecided as to what she will matriculate in. I hope she chooses something that allows her to travel and experience all that life has to offer. Congratulations, Iana. Congratulations to all the students recognized tonight. We wish you all a very happy summer, and um, we'll see you in September. Um, and now we're going to move on to recognize our special Mr. Gary Enrico. <laughs> I don't know how I got here so fast, but 43 years went by very fast, but uh, I thank the president to uh, allow me to speak for just a couple of minutes. Um, I am one of the luckiest people and one of the richest pe person you'll ever meet in your life because I was able to spend 43 years 
where I was born and raised. And when I walked the streets of Hoboken, there's so many memories on each block. Um, things I did as a kid, some of them were good, some of them were, a bit, uh, were kind of bad, but <laughs> I still, I still uh, remember breaking windows and having to admit to my mother that I broke so-and-so's window because she knew it already. But um, it's, just, it's been a great experience. And just to walk around and, you know, every block I walk on, I see former students. There's some of them here tonight. It, it really is a blessing, and uh, I'm probably blessed more than I really should have been, but it's just one of those things. And, um, but when I used to bring the band over from the high school through the park, I have a picture of me and my father. I was probably about two years old, and my father was pushing me on a swing. And every night I came through with the band, I'd always... I'd always remember, you know, that was, it was bringing back a memory of my father when I was, you know, a kid. And on Fifth and Willow, my mother would be standing there when I was in kindergarten in OLG. And, I, you know, I'd come down the stairs and, um, and I'd look to see if my mother was there. And she always was there. But the past couple of days, I've been walking around just, you know, just thinking of things. But... Um, yeah, I had I had great parents, as I said at the, the Hispanic Culture Club. They 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 brought me up the right way. They taught me what was important and how to treat people nice. And I think you could say a lot of things about me, but I think I always treat people with respect and um, and try to talk as nice as I can to them. If you look on YouTube and you Google me, there's a meeting from 2009. I don't know if Ido was there. You may have been there that night. I went off on the board, our friends, our supposed friends. And uh, so when I meet people and, you know, they know they're going to meet me, they Google me and like everybody else does. And they know that they'll say, you're not that crazy guy. I mean, I, I saw this crazy guy on YouTube <laughs> went off because that night, believe it or not, if that contract went through, the students of Hoboken would probably have a half hour more time than what they have now in the classroom. So I, sometimes when I look at that, I, you know, I regret, you know, I wasn't able to get it done, but, and that's what politics do. But after that night, I pledged to myself and to Frank that we're going to keep politics out of negotiations. We're just going to negotiate with good people and just try to work it out. Because if you're on a board of education, you're there for the right reason. Even if you, you know, if your kid doesn't go to the school, you still want what's best for the kids of Hoboken. But um, that was that night, and it's something I can't live, uh, outlive. Uh, hopefully I'll outlive it, but I don't think I will. But tonight I brought my beautiful wife here because, uh, Dr. Johnson, I've been around strong women my whole life. I want you to know that. <laughs> From my mother, who was four feet ten, uh, and then I met my beautiful wife, I think, in 19... She can't forget it. 1972. And she had this brown hat on at a dance. And I went up to her and we started dancing. And then it just took off from there. We got married very young because uh, we knew that's what we wanted to be together. And uh, we had three beautiful girls who are also have a strong mind and a strong opinion. And then my wife's mother, another great lady, another strong opinion. And then so when, I, when, when you got hired, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I was kind of used to it. Um, so I think it happened right here when I came down and I said to you, and I'm sure you remember this, I said, you know, we checked you out. You know, I want you to know we checked you out. And she says, well, I checked you out. <laughs> and I knew uh, from that moment on we were going to have a great relationship. And even when we went to O'Neill's for lunch that day, and I did say the following, you're in for some ride. And you said, no, no, no. Well, I, you have to admit, you don't like to admit I'm right, but I think that one you're going to have to admit <laughs> that I'm right on. But there was, um, we had 12 super, my time anyway, 12 superintendents since I was hired in 76. And then when I became president um, 15 years ago, you know, when you're president of an association, you know, people threaten you, you know, with your job or you're going to be transferred. But I used to laugh at that stuff because I felt if I had a job, I really didn't have to worry about it. And then 
as we started to negotiate and doing things the way we should, um, you know, I think, I think it worked out. I'm even a board that's sitting here tonight. I'm, these people, you know, they, like these administrators, there's a book that they go in when they want to quote somebody. You know, they look it up and they, they come up with like a quote from Helen Keller. But <laughs> I always quote Hyman Roth when he met Michael Corleone and said, you know, this is business. You know, I didn't ask any questions, it's business. And that's the way I felt, you know, with the board, you know, with the board members. It's nothing personal. Some board members in the past really couldn't take it. And um, they didn't think uh, it was business, it was other things. But like I said, it was, it was great. And I'm kind of sad to leave, but how do you know it's time to retire? I don't know, but just, it just my friends that are retired said, you'll know. And when, when this year was going on, I said to my wife, I said, I don't know, I think, I think I'm done. I said, I don't know, I just, I don't know, if maybe this is my time. And I always promised myself that I would go out earlier than later. I didn't want to stay too long, you know, past my prime. So, um, and I'm a little nervous about it, to tell you the truth, but we were expecting another granddaughter in two weeks. So, that's, uh, if you're looking for me, I'll be in Van Sorn Park probably a couple of days a week. And Tom and Sharon, you know, I was, I you know all the board members here, Shatali and Sheila, you know, I, didn't, I know most of you, but when I, Sharon used to come with them when I was the band director, would come with the kids when they were small, and uh, we used to talk a lot. And Tom, I talked him in, maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll regret it when I talked to Toronto and to the board, but, you know, it's been great, and, um, and that's it, really. It's, it's been great, and it's time for me to go. It was a pleasure working with these guys over here. I like when you show up, though. It's nice. That means they got the call to make sure that you're there tonight. <laughs> and, uh, and Sandra's doing a great job. So um, it's been a pleasure, and I'm sure we'll meet again. Thank you very much. Just one other, just one other thing. Frank Mazzone, Frank Mazzone's been with me from the beginning, and um, and Roseanne will be the next president of the association. People always say to me, "How come you have Frank and Roseanne around?" I tell them, "I have to have two people I can trust with my, with my life," and these are two people that you know that I really trust, and I hope you work with them as you worked with me. Thank you. Best of luck in your retirement. We're going to miss your humor around here and at each board meeting, but you're always welcome back. Um, but I hope you have a healthy, happy retirement and enjoy your grandchildren and some free time. Um, now we're going to take a quick break. May I? Yes. Oh, sorry. I sh should have offered the rest of the board. Go ahead. Um, soft spoken, Gary. Um, uh, in the time that I've been on the board, even before um, uh, being in the audience and you know, in, in, in a parent and uh, attending board meetings, there is no more ferocious advocate for children and for the educators uh, and, a, and, a, and a partner in the time that I've been on the board uh, for this district and for the kids uh, than Mr. Enrico. Uh, and as you were just recently asking a couple minutes ago, you know, is, is it time to leave or not? I don't know, but I, I, I wanted you to turn around and look at the legacy uh, of your 43 years, the, uh, the families uh, and, and the strong educators and, and the strong district that we have. Um, uh, so I just want to acknowledge that. I think educators by nature are optimists. Um, you know, every year starts a, a, a new journey with new students and uh, you, you, you plant some seeds and you watch the students grow uh, and, and blossom. Um, so, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I, I know you can be ferocious when you have to, but I think you're a pussycat at heart, uh, and I know that also you're a Jets fan, which is the ultimate optimist. <laughs> right? <That's awesome. laughs> he, he says that every year to me, we suffer together. <laughs> but so <laughs> I, I know deep down that you know, the, 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 there's a there's a there's, there's a loving, gentle man underneath that, Gary and Rico. It's, it's been a pleasure working with you, Gary. Okay, 
Um, now we are going to take a quick break. So before we move on to the business part of our meeting, for anyone who does have to leave, but as I said earlier, have a wonderful summer. Um, and we'll be here in July, but if you're not, we'll see you in September. Okay, we're gonna get started again. Um, we're next, we're going to move into committee reports. Mr. Bolden, do you have a business administrator's report tonight? Uh, the, yes, two things. Uh, the first one is not official, but uh, I noticed that on 10.22, resolution 10.22, there was a dollar amount omitted. It's for our statutorily required uh, membership to the NJSIAD Sports. Uh, it's $2,150, just so the board is aware of that. Um, I do have an official report. Um, so one of the more recent statutory requirements, 2015, Chapter 47, it's called the Chapter 47 report. Uh, the board secretary is to report out to the board all the different contracts that uh, were awarded over the last year and that will be uh, either renewed or awarded going forward. Um, and it's an extensive list. I'm not going to read through them all. Some are statutorily required to be uh, awarded each year, like professional services such as architects, attorneys, engineers, others uh, are renewed. We always strive as a Board of Ed to um, award our contracts in the most efficient manner and of course um, following the law. Um, if anyone has any questions, as always, please feel free uh, to reach out to me after the fact. You all have the reports in front of you, the board members, and they will become part of the minutes. Sure. That's it. Okay, thank you. Uh, curriculum and wellness, Ms. Delara. Sure, um, the Curriculum, Athletics and Wellness Committee met on June 5th at one o'clock. In attendance were myself, Dr. Johnson, Assistant Superintendent Sandra Rodriguez, Ms. Angley, Ms. Evans, and Ms. Kana. Uh, my report's a little long just because we're gonna go over kind of a year overview of all our accomplishments. So I'm gonna start with um, athletics. Um, to date, six of 42 Hoboken High School senior student athletes committed to playing college. As of the meeting, we were waiting on five more, um, but that's already over 14% um, over the national average, which is 6%. 103 total students made the athletic directors list. Our previous high was 71. 10 of 14 programs with one loss records recorded an improvement from the previous year. A record of 131 total team wins this year, which previously was 107. Um, class of 2020 uh, graduate Emily Schroeder has been selected at first Hoboken High, as the first Hoboken High School student to serve on the NJSIAA under the Student Athlete Advisory Council. Congratulations to her. Um, our fall season. Our football team made the quarterfinals in the state tournament. Our girls soccer made the semifinals in the county tournament. Our boys soccer had their best season in over two decades. And our girls volleyball had the most wins in our program's history. Our winter season. Our boys basketball tied for most wins, um, eight, which was 18 in the last decade. And they made the NJSIAA quarterfinals. They also um, won the, we, the, in the Weehawken Holiday Tournament champions. Girls basketball, um, they also played in the NJSIAA quarterfinals, uh, where girls bowling had their best record and most wins in our program's history. Our spring season, baseball made the NJSAA semifinals. They, we had the best stars, 16 and 0, in our program's history. And we were the last undefeated baseball team in the state. Boys Volleyball, most wins in program history. Now on to our music department accomplishments. <coughs> Congratulations to our marching band that performed in Washington, D.C. once again. Our Hoboken High School chorus and band earned excellent ratings at our Six Flags Music in the Park Festival. Our Rockin' Red Wings won first place in the West Orange Marching Band and Bloomfield Festivals in 2018. Our Hoboken Public Schools instrumental and strings music programs were invited once again to participate in Montclair University Chamber Day program and in the American Young Voices program at the Prudential Center. Our marching band Silver Award, won the Silver Award at Wayne Hill State Ratings Festival and they also got an honorable mention at the NJCU Band Festival. 
Way to Go Rockin' Red Wings. Our middle school band earned ratings when participating in the Six Flags Music Festival for the first time. And our sixth grade students from Wallace Elementary School were selected to participate in the New Jersey State Honors Band. Now to, on to our theater department accomplishments. <coughs> The Speech and Theater Association of New Jersey Governor's Awards in Arts Education. We had a fifth place dramatic pair, which went to Angel Quinones and Daniel Safanova. And a third place best scene, uh, which went to Elena Audrey, Haley Benway, Mabel, and I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your name, Villa Vicencio, Miguel Cavallin, Saranya Gansan, Madison Gray, Kendall McDonough, Caitlin Rivera, Sanja Samurai. Kiera Mater, Alana Rivas, and Naomi Cook. Congratulations to all of you. New Jersey Thespians Festival. One act chapter select play, The Interference, written by Linda Radley. We won second place overall best play out of about 40 plays. First place best actress went to Sophia Melfi. First place best supporting actor went to Angel Quinones. And third place <laughs> best supporting actress went to Rebecca Weintraub. We also um, won superior medals that can compete in Nebraska at the International Festival. For duet singing with Sophia Melfi and Rebecca Weintraub, and contrasting monologues were Daniel, Daniel Safanova, and acting duo scene Angel Quinones and Daniel Safanova, and backstage awards superior medals went to rigging Sophia Ortiz, hanging and focusing a lighting Sophia Ortiz, and sound system Daxia Serrano. Our Hoboken High School's production of Spring Awakening, which was awesome, was awarded New Jersey's Best High School Student Production in 2018 by Broadway World. Um, I think we talked about this a little bit earlier during our student recognitions, but our PATH Summer Art Contest winners uh, from Wallace, second grade, Emma Henderson, from Connors, fifth grade, Isis Cruz, and our overall first place winner, Hoboken Middle School, Naomi Cook. Um, on June 6th, we had a showcase for Project Lead the Way. And um, in addition, we celebrated two firsts, our first annual induction of the Hoboken High School Spanish National Honor Society, which was held on June 4th, 2019. We also celebrated our first annual Hoboken High School African American Club Rites of Passage Ceremony, which is going to be held on June 12th. Um, in addition, 45 students as of today have received their WISE financial literacy certification. And um, lastly, we also discuss some new high school courses for the fall, which include some are principles of business management, uh, public speaking, computer applications, civil engineering, architecture, biomedical innovations, and cyber security. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, facilities, Ms. Evans. The Facilities Committee met on Wednesday, June 5th. In attendance were myself, Ms. Angley, Ms. McGurk, Mr. Callagy, and Dr. Johnson. There are four facilities requests on the agenda tonight. These are all renewals by groups who have used district facilities in the past. The committee reviewed and recommends all for approval. The committee also discussed the living classroom at Demarest, which is effectively finished. All that remains are some finishing touches like uh, the finishing the floor, the painting, and delivery of a large touch tank in the next couple of weeks. The committee also discussed the timing of the Collabro Brant move, and that will uh, happen in July. And finally, we're adding some bicycle racks to a couple of our schools. Two will be added at the south end of Hoboken High School, and another two will be added at Wallace School. And the other schools will be monitored to see if additional bicycle racks are needed. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Uh, finance, Mr. Kirian. Good evening. Uh, the Finance Committee met on Monday, June 3rd. Uh, in attendance were Ms. Angley, Mr. Bolden, Mr. Delatore, Ms. McGurk, and myself. We discussed all agenda items and recommend all for approval. A few no of note or that sparked more discussion during our committee meeting are as follows. Uh, approval of special services awards and appointments for 2019-20 school year. Uh, the Director of Special Services has been working hard to evaluate alternative providers, many of whom are coming in at lower cost uh, for high quality services. Uh, the district will be trying out the, the various providers and awarding the more hours to those that meet our needs best. Um, 
approval of professional services awards and appointments for the 2019 and 20 school year. Um, RFPs were responded to for various professional services appointments, including attorneys, auditors, architects, environmental engineer, insurance broker, and other roles. Uh, these are uh, awarded annually. Um, in uh, a number of the agenda items are for approval of various procurement services, um, 10.8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 specifically. Uh, the district isn't obligated to use these services, uh, but can use them for procuring, procuring certain supplies, uh, often a deep discount. All of them have free membership other than one, Ed Data, um, where we easily make up uh, the cost based on the discounts that we receive. Uh, additionally, each year the board is asked to approve uh, the appointment of various required roles for the upcoming school year. You'll see those um, in, in sections 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 24, 25, and 28. I'll let everybody just reference those. Um, and additionally, uh, there are a number of other annual approvals that are also on the agenda this evening uh, related to um, like tax shelter annuity companies, life insurance vendors. Uh, these represent um, the investment options available to district employees in the retirement plan and for supplemental life insurance, respectively, approval in the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association. Um, we've also approving the tax payment schedule for 2019 and 20. Uh, this is the schedule that the city distributes uh, tax revenue to the school district. Um, and then a number of approvals related to insurance um, where we've also see some cost savings. So approval of the workers' compensation insurance uh, where we'll see a cost reduction of roughly $20,000 versus last year uh, and a renewal of the New Jersey School Insurance Group uh, for package property and liability policies and student accident insurance. Uh, small decrease in, in cost there for 2000 and then lastly, uh, approval of uh, donations. We'd like to thank the Wallace PTO for their generous donation for end of year field trip fees, as well as admission fees for the fifth grade trip to Gravity Vault. So two separate things there. Um, I'm sure the students will really enjoy all of those activities. So thank you. And that concludes my report for this evening. Uh, thank you. Governance, Ms. Kana. The Governance and Personnel Committee met on Wednesday, June 5th, at 4.30 p.m. In attendance were myself, Ms. Angley, Ms. Delara, Ms. Takirian, and Dr. Johnson. The committee reviewed all agenda items 9.01 through 9.25 and recommends all for board approval. All agenda items are normal course of actions, including approval of appointments, resignations, leave requests, changes, and staff for our district services and summer programs. Under 9.04, there were zero confirmed HIV cases. The committee has been reviewing and discussing staffing for 2019 to 2020 school year. A number of te teacher positions, as I, as I had stated in the last meeting, will be shifted and or reassigned, and those that are not needed, based upon analysis and, analysis and efficiency, which are still being finalized. And that concludes my report. Uh, thank you. Are there any questions or comments on committee reports? Um, I don't have a report tonight, but I just want to remind the board that we'll be going into executive session at the end of the meeting um, to discuss personnel um, items, and there will be no action taken after the executive session. So we'll just simply come back to adjourn the meeting. Um, so it's probably not worth anyone sticking around <laughs> or stop sticking around. Um, public comments on agenda items. Do we have any? Uh, there are none. None. Okay, so consent agenda. Um, is there a motion? <coughs> motion. Second. Okay, any discussion or items that we need to pull? No. Um, okay, can we have the roll call? Yes. Ms. Kedematori? Yes. Ms. Delara? Yes. Mr. Delator? Yes. Ms. Evans? Yes. Ms. Kana? Yes. Mr. Klipfel? Uh, I need to abstain on 10.01 and vote yes on everything else. Thank you. Ms. Takirian? Yes. And Ms. Angley? Yes. Yes. The consent agenda passes. Okay. Uh, public comments on agenda and non agenda items? Uh, there are none. None. Okay. So at this time, um, we'll move to go to executive session, um, and I'll need a motion to do that. Motion. 
Second. You can say the purpose, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, for personnel um, items that we'll be discussing. Motion. Second. Okay. Um, and we should be probably about 30 to 45 minutes, I would think. Take a roll call. Um, yeah. Can we take a roll call? <laughs> sure. Ms. Cadimentori. Here. Ms. DeLara. Yes. Mr. Dillator. Yes. Ms. Evans. Yes. Ms. Kana. Yes. Mr. Klipfel. Yes. Ms. Dekirian. Yes. Ms. Angley. Yes. The motion passes.